everyone is talking about that added sugar is bad, but sugar from fruit is also bad, and they think that it's the same thing. Are they the same thing? Or is there a difference? Is there a difference in, in which sugar from fruits, it's better and makes no damage at all, while added sugar, it's the only bad thing that damages the body? Or what's the thing about all this? Can I eat all the fruit that I can? Or should I be afraid of fruit? Can I eat all the candy and all the added sugar that I want? Because it's all, all that matters is how many calories that I, am I burning? So what's the deal? So what's the deal about sugar? And let's go for the structure of sugar. So what is sugar? Sugar, it's a carbohydrate. Some people think, really? Sugars are carbohydrates? Yeah, sugars are carbohydrates. And sugar on its own, by itself, it's the union in between glucose and fructose, which are two molecules of something called monosaccharides or simple sugars. When you combine these two, when you bond them, then you have sugar, what we call sugar. What we find in added sugar or in table sugar, it's something called saccharose. Saccharose is what we find in table sugar, but it's now different from what we're going to find in high fructose corn syrup, in any other syrup, in honey, in other things that we find in Latin America, like panela or any other thing. It's just glucose with fructose. They come in 50% or they can be like in high fructose corn syrup, which is 55%, fructose 45%, glucose, what happens in fruit? In fruit, we have glucose, which is on its own, fructose on its own, or the union of those two that naturally occur in fruits that it's called sucrose, but it's exactly the same molecule as saccharose. It's exactly the same molecule. Glucose and fructose bond together 50-50%. They're exactly the same. So when we eat that enters in our intestine, they break, that bond breaks, glucose goes and to give us energy because we require glucose for energy production. Energy comes glucose, oxygen into the mitochondria to produce ATP. That's what we use as the currency of energy. That happens in all of our cells. Do we utilize fructose as a form of energy? The answer is no. But my body can take fructose when it's in a low dose, like what we have in fruit, because fruit comes with fiber. Fiber makes us stop early from eating a large amount of fruit. So we don't exceed that capacity in order to make us sick. Why sick? Because fructose cannot be utilized as energy. It doesn't get stored in the liver or in the muscle as a form of glycogen to be utilized as energy. It only converts when we exceed the amount that we can process. It always converts into fat. That fruit is very well designed. Fiber is going to make us be feel full early. It's going to make that fructose and that glucose is going to be entering from my intestine into my bloodstream slowly, like making a line to enter to a concert, slowly. What's going to happen with that? My glucose spike and my insulin spike, it's going to be lower in the amount, but also in time, because the fiber is helping for that. But what happens if I take and make orange juice and take those 17 grams and I take away the fiber, but actually I need five or four of those oranges in order to make a 12 ounce juice, which is what people normally drink. I'm gonna get 68 grams of sugar. If it's four oranges, that's 17 teaspoons of sugar. That is a lot. A regular soda has 40 grams and you're eating in one, just one orange juice, you're eating 68. So this is something that we need to be aware of. So what's the deal? Added sugar, if I'm exceeding the amount that I can tolerate and that I can process, is going to be the same thing as the, the sugars inside of fruit. Their effects are going to be the same if I consume more than what I can process or if I use fruit in a way that I cannot use fruit. If I eat a fruit and I stop because of the fiber because I feel full, is something going to happen to my health? Not at all. It's going to happen if I have diabetes, of course. But different from that, it's not gonna happen 
anything and I can be consuming fruit and I can be enjoying fruit even though the sugar that I have inside because my body is designed to tolerate that amount. When starts being problematic? It starts being problematic when I exceed more than 20 grams of fructose in my diet. That means 40 grams of sugar. Try to look for added sugars when you buy a product. Try to turn it around and see that you're not eating added sugars even if it comes from organic, raw, heavenly honey. Don't fall from that. That's just marketing. Of course, it's very important that it's organic and that it's raw, but it's also important the quantity that you're eating, that you're putting into your system. What happens when we exceed that amount? My recommendation for patients, it's not to exceed 25 grams in total sugars within the day. Again, not every single day. What happens? You're gonna start having problems with glucose spikes, insulin spikes, you're gonna be more anxious about eating more food. You're gonna have high triglycerides, fatty liver, fatty muscle, fatty pancreas. You're gonna have pre-diabetes, diabetes. You're gonna start uh, increasing the amount of fat that's going to start causing chronic inflammation. You're going to elevate the amount of uric acid that you have that can cause birth problems, that can cause uh, conception or, or pregnancy difficulties, that can start having also mental problems that can lead to cardiovascular disease, cerebrovascular uh, disease that can that might lead to insulin resistance and high insulin levels that might lead also to uh, uh, for the progression of cancer. So that might lead to a lot of things. So what are the strategies for a well-balanced diet in which we can enjoy these things and we don't fall for an excess, but they don't cause a problem to my health? It's quite easy. Eat a diet that it's mainly from fresh or with minimum processed foods. Foods that you know, foods that you understand, foods that you really know what they are. Second, try to make them that you eat a very high protein diet, very high fiber diet, very also high in healthy fats. When you eat those three and you make sure you're eating those three, you're going to have more balance, more stability in your metabolism and also you're gonna feel more satiated all the time. So this is very important to remember. Try not to be eating a lot of times during the day. Two or three times a day, it's more than enough if you're eating all of your requirements. So first, know your requirements and please eat them. Make sure you're eating all of your requirements. Make fruits part of your diet and make the sugars only to appear in the foods that you enjoy during the day, you're gonna see that you're not going to have any problem. Please eat your fruits after a meal before we leave to debunk some myths. So fructose is a demon. It could be if you exceed the dose. Fructose is needed for energy? No. So fruit is bad? No. Is sugar necessary for kids so they can grow? No. Is it necessary for people to have energy during the day? No. So I need to avoid sugar at all? I don't think so. You can have a good relationship with sugar if you know the amount of sugar that you're eating and if you know what you're eating every single time that you eat it and if you don't make it every single day, maybe again, once or twice a week. Are they different out of sugar from the sugars in fruit? No, they're the same, but it's much different the way that you're going to find them here in which you're going to fall for a lot of ultra processed foods rather than having something natural in which you're going to naturally stop. Is the dose for an adult the same for a kid? No, kids shouldn't be consuming more than 10 grams. Kids under 10 and kids under five shouldn't be consuming more than four grams or six grams of sugar. Just think, is a kid going to eat a full orange on its own? No, they are going to eat maybe a quarter. What is a quarter of what I just told you? Four grams. Then make that same thing if you're, eat, if you're gonna give them some ice cream. Don't give them the large ice cream. Give them just a little amount. If they say, I want more, yeah, I know you want more, but you're not ready for that. It's a lot. So for me, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is we can have a well-balanced diet when we know the amounts of the things that we can consume and what we cannot consume. When we know the dose, when we know when, when we know how. And this is something that we do when we start understanding that I am the owner of my health. I am the owner of my diet. And that's the only purpose of this channel, to remember you, that you are the owner of your health, that I am the owner of mine, then, and to provide you information, scientific information, and also to provide you the tools and how to use them 
in order to pursue that dream and it's to have a very good lifespan and also a very good health span. So remember before you leave to share this video with your contest so we don't keep on being afraid of fruit and afraid of sugar if we really know how to use it. And also before you leave, please remember to hit the like button so YouTube can help us with the algorithm and also hit the bell and subscribe to the channel. In that way, every time we make new videos, you're going to be the first one to get a notification and we can keep growing this community. Thank you guys and see you next time.